This car is one of our brand new uh, Demir's units that represents the uh, next generation of BC Ambulance uh, uh, units. Another big change that we did with these cars though, over our previous series was to go to all LED lighting. Uh, one of the things we ended up doing was moving our auction compartment over onto the front left. So a little easier to load and unload from this compartment. Here we've also gone to uh, a multiplexed electrical system. Uh, we have controllers inside now, touch pads that allow you to turn the lights off up front when you forget them on in the back. You don't have to stop and get around and climb in and turn your lights off anymore. You can adjust all the temperatures. We have multiple control points for things. We've uh, gone to uh, our uh, backboard compartment. Uh, so of course this is designed so that we can store our backboards uh, long ways in here. Uh, this compartment's actually been uh, had the heat and AC ducted into this cabinet as well to keep the uh, backboards warm in the colder areas. What we've done for the side here is we talked a lot about how to uh, address dealing with uh, ambulatory patients. Uh, we do more and more ambulatory patients in busy areas where they really don't need to be on the stretcher and every lift uh, you can avoid is a one less lift you need to do. Added a, a fold out step. So what we wanted was a step that could be left in place, didn't need to be deployed all the time, only when you needed it, was inside the vehicle so that it would stay relatively clean and relatively simple. So uh, Demir's, I'll give them credit, their engineers came up with a, a very good solution to this. The focus of our design and the work we did with our committees was to look at how we could get people in a seated position where they could wear a seat belt the majority of the time. So one of the big key features we identified was that 75% of our patients are actually transported in the sitting up position. We felt we needed to create a primary seat in a location where you could best interact with that patient. But when you sit interacting with a patient doing your assessment, this actually allows you to sit direct on, face them, the seat locks at an angle, plus forward. We've provided controls, some minimum storage, and uh, allows access again to the patient uh, uh, the majority of the time. One of the things we did do is, is this change did not mean that we could not carry a second patient. We do work in a lot of rural areas where your backup might be uh, quite a ways away and the reality is we still need to carry a second uh, patient. We didn't want to have lots of loose parts floating around so we built into the wall the posts so the posts automatically locate the right distance and you have your wheel cups up here for your uh, number nine. We've also added a uh, oxygen element at the uh, back door. Uh, it's located there for two reasons. One, you can actually reach it fairly easily from the primary attendant seat. And two, that's where you normally change your, uh, your oxygen from a portable tank to the, uh, to the main tank.